Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Right, today we've got a beer from Ovita Pelina, and this is their Palantis Nita Barrel Age Barley Wine. It's coming in at 11.5% ABV, 75 IBUs, yeah. And yeah, it's been barrel aged in Justino's, which here in Madeira. And what's the name of the barrels? Malmsey barrels. Mal 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 Malmsey barrels. So, so yeah, I think it's been aged between three to six months, that sort of, sort of time. Uh, it's got a, well, it's actually put in the bottle in December of 20. Uh, 17 so it's, it's exactly a year old um, beer, beer of this stature will, you can age it for probably 10 years or more but it's got a best before 2021 so so yeah 330 ml bowl I've already poured the beer into the glass so here it is I'm actually recording this in a beer house down in Funchal by the harbour and yeah lovely kind of I mean I've got the the, sort of the back end of the, of, of the bottle so it's a lot kind of more denser looking yeah. so the first part of the bottle it's kind of you can see it I don't, don't know what the lights like it doesn't look that good but it's a little bit lighter it's got that kind of it's almost like looking like an old ale or something like that but well, it's a barley wine and a very similar kind of style but yeah this one has been barrel aged so we'll see how that goes and yeah, let's give it a swirl. I don't know what the light's like as I'm recording. I've got the sunlight a bit there, so I'll give it a swirl, and it kind of does generate a little bit of a of a head. Not too much. 11.5. It's you know, don't expect it to be really. It's a, like a thin veil, but yeah, loads of alcohol legs on this one. It's getting aroma then. Now it's warmed up a bit. We when we first got it, it was kind of like really cold, so we were trying to warm the beer up. It's definitely warmed up. It's probably about 17, 18 degrees sitting out here. It's definitely getting more of a kind of a sweetness to it. There's a slight vinous coming through now as it's warmed up. Again, almost like there's a kind of toffee caramel, kind of sticky kind of vibe to it, if that makes sense. Yeah, they're messages from the barrels. I, I don't know what the actual barrels are made out of, etc. But it doesn't matter. You can tell it's a, of a kind of a high quality. So let's give it a try, leaving a nice bit of lace in there. Cheers. I mean, considering the ABV, this is drinking. Now it's warmed up, it's really smooth. There's almost a slight creaminess to it, but then you, you can just tell, just on the back end, it's a slight kind of alcohol. It's not, you're not tasting the alcohol, you're just feeling it as it goes down kind of thing. Just the quality. It's the only place in Madeira at the moment that's actually got it. I think they've, you know, sold out everywhere else, so quite lucky to coincide with trip and it's still around so there's a nice kind of brown sugar kind of molasses thing going on with it but not overly it's all kind of very well blended together with I think it's um, there's a blend of grapes I think it's uh, is it black and uh, red grapes kind of a blend that sort of thing one more sip it's not overly sweet it just seems to have mellowed chilled out a bit and all come really kind of quite well together there is a little bit of malt wise there is a little bit more of a kind of a <sighs> there is a slight biscuitiness but not 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 anything you kind of notice I'm just picking up a slight bit, but it's more about them kind of real dark fruits. There is almost like a slight plum edge to it. It's just one of them beers that just sit back and enjoy and take your time over. Although it's so tasty, taking your time over a beer like this, it, it can be a challenge in itself. You just want to drink it, you know, and get another one kind of thing. You, you know, you're going to be in trouble. Um, 
any other information? Not that I can make out, but yeah, lovely looking label. As you can see. Nice beer. As for a rating then, I'll give it one more little sip. Yeah, that's quality. Paul, you would love this, mate. Absolutely love it. I'm going to give this a... I'll give it a 9 out of 10. It, it, it's, it's up there. You know, it's, it's on... It's near the world-class level. Pretty much world-class. Um, so, yeah, 4.5 if you're on the untapped scale. I have a quick look. And this is had... I'm on my phone, so... 392 ratings coming in at 3.95 so not, not too bad I mean I'll give it a little bit more than that so 4.5 for me four people uh, my contacts on untapped have had it it's coming in at 4.63 so there's probably a few five out of fives there um, so yeah so you've had this one let us know down in the comments below and I'll see you on the next review cheers Thank you.